What's up, guys? Nice man here. So Buzz uh, is about to retire. Now, the current date, okay, it's September 18, all right, 2020. You see, there comes a time in a man's life where he comes to the realization that he needs to get off his fucking ass. You know what I'm talking about? And I think what's going on right here with Baza, the psychology of the situation is that he has come to this realization. What once was fun and enjoyable is now a vice and an addiction. So he straight up said, I want to give all my shit away. I'm quitting. Look at this. Holy fucking shit. Three socket at Terrell Armor? Three socket at Aki? What about his amulet? Corrupted amulet. Hot deal! Now, I've actually come to this realization a couple times in the past month. So what happened was I got up off my ass, and a few hours later, I find myself back on it, playing the fucking game again. So Baz, I think, is doing it right, actually. You see, he's giving away all his shit. Sometimes it's the only way to do it, man. You just got to quit cold turkey like Baza. Now, the truth is, Project Diablo 2 is on its way, and the game looks toad as fuck. So I'm hoping Baza is going to be down for playing some of this Project E2. It's going to have stackable craftables and stackable runes and shit so you can hoard that shit like a little squirrel hoarding his walnuts. So, I don't know, man. It sounds like a good damn time. Oh, yeah. The Talorp has just crazy stats where it's so damn long. Oh, I can't see it either. I can't see it either. Yeah, no wonder. So, if there's any of you guys... And I... You know, I, I admire Baza for this move, you know what I mean? Because this game is addicting as fuck. I think, like me, he's found himself, you know, saying he's only going to play for a minute, and then he's just on his ass for who knows how long. So, good for you, man, for doing that. And I'm kind of planning on doing it for a minute as well. I mean, I don't think I'm going to give away all my shit. So, I'll probably be on a little bit here and there. Uh, Fuck, it's not going to work, is it? But I'm going to try out Project E2. So I'm really looking forward to that. <clears throat> so if any of you guys are interested, my patrons, I'll post this on my Facebook today. All right, because this video is not going to come up for a while. But when the video does come up, I still might have some handouts. So any of my patrons, you know, they're first in line to get the goodies. And... Yeah, the shit looks great. 30s, a 30s towel with cold facets in it. FCR ring. FCR nagel. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's pretty nice. Wow, he gets style points wearing cow boots. <clears throat> yeah, I can't read it either. I gotta see that shit. So. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys, you know, are interested in some handouts. Oh, yeah. The talent was tiny. I, don't, I feel like it wasn't like that just a moment ago. Interesting. Or maybe it was. I just didn't pay close attention. So, I, uh, I mean, folks been accusing me of taking handouts. All right. Just a couple of you. I ain't gonna get mad about it, but the truth is, I busted my fucking ass getting that uh, Infinity, getting uh, Enigma, getting Phoenix. I busted my ass. So that's the truth. Uh, yeah, I took a handout or two. All right, who gives a fuck? You know, I took the thirty, 
are the three Java Scaler 20 IS gloves. All right, homie offered them to me. I slammed them. I thought, okay, I'll take them if I slam them because they might just go bye bye. I was hoping they'd go bye bye, but they didn't. So I kept them. And I took a T Gods, right? 8% Pierce. Uh, this guy even tries to give me a little lecture. He's like, hey, He's like, well, the reason, man, you shouldn't take that shit is because the game's all about finding the shit. I'm like, no shit, dog. How many times have I said that before? I'm just trying to make it last, you know? That's why I don't really go out of my way just offering people shit for free because I know that's just going to make them quit sooner. And I want, them to, I want them to stay on this game and watch my videos, even though, as mentioned before, I think half of my viewers don't even play. And I appreciate you all for watching. But I mean, what's wrong with a little handout here and there? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Baza has all this shit. And if any of you guys want it, and I know some of y'all ain't got time. You know, some of y'all busting your ass at a job. So you just are looking to have, you know, some decent gear. Interesting. Cold facets in that as well. Okay. I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. Holy shit. So he has some nice charms as well. Check this out. Five all res. These... I see folks ask skin a Vex rune for that. These, uh, you might be able to get one for an Elm rune or so if you get a good deal. Sometimes even cheaper, but depends on where you're, when you're shopping, man. Little all res with lightning damage, perfect 20 lifer. Some perfect ones right here. <clears throat> Five all res. Those are very nice to have. I found that it's actually, in general, more optimal to put faster hit recovery in your uh, helm because you can put a shell in your helm, and that's 20 FHR. 20 FHR in charms takes up four spaces, whereas if you put an um rune in your helm, um, in charms, that would only take up three spaces. So you get a better deal to uh, you know have uh, all res stuff and res gear in your inventory over FHR. Oh, he gave his geeds away. Hey, he gave a couple things away. So, damn, look at all those all res charms. Those are damn nice. Cold skills. A lot of little resist uh, charms. The fuck? Oh, holy shit. So he has a mixture of uh, fire and uh, cold charms. A lot of these MF charms, those are very nice. So, but yeah, man, these things, I'm gonna have them all on an account on this character. Uh, whose name is like Baz's retired goodies or whatever. So, hot deal. What do we have here? Okay, lower res. <laughs> yeah, so if any of you dogs are looking to get dibs on this shit, just let me know. Character kills meth easy. And that's a lot of MF. You must have had some pretty damn good MF. Even though he has cold facets, so he's doing a, a hog of a lot. Oh, wow. 600. Holy shit. Yeah, he has uh, perfect chances. All right. So he just tossed down all his goodies. He said that on this character, he was able to do meth runs in some instances between 15 and 30 seconds depending on how fast he could find uh level three so a very toad sork um that if any of you guys you know are looking for any of this gear just hit me up on facebook or on youtube in the comment section below I can't. he has a lot of goodies uh my patrons get first dibs so keep that in mind i can't carry you Hot damn, he's rich as fuck. And uh, yeah, he gave me the Merc stuff. He said one time he deleted a character after giving stuff away and he forgot about the Merc and he lost some GG. That's something y'all gotta keep in mind. And I, I, I feel like I've, uh, I forgot about my Merc once or twice as well. I'm gonna need four cares. All right, so I'm gonna make another account and uh, get some more gear from his other characters. So here now, is his barbarian. This barbarian is thick as fuck. I remember running maps with him, man. Man, the time just flies, to be honest with you guys. Shit like this comes down and all of a sudden Boz is retiring. You know, almost brings a tear to my fucking eye how maybe, you know, those nights when I was getting sleepy, maybe I should have stayed up a little later. Maybe we should have ran a couple more icy cavern maps. You know, maybe I should have ran my bows on with him. I mean, he had a decent battle orders and the barb's thick as fuck, man. Just 
all good times, but just try to cherish your moments, man, with your homies, all right? Because you never know when them dogs are going to retire or when they're taking off. But like I said, I'm thinking I'm thinking Bald is going to be up for playing Project D2. Uh, and yeah, I'm curious to see how many of you guys are going to try that out as well. So it has actually high res uh, resolution. It's like 4K resolution. It's crazy. I'll make a video on that soon. So he has Ellie Babas. Steel Ren, 59 damage. Hot damn. What happens is when the ladder resets, maybe some of you guys have noticed this. Often I think we get stuck, you know, in our own worlds. Just, I mean, that's how I kind of get sometimes. I'll be making private games. I'll be running the maps, trying to get all the GG on my own, things like that. You know, but it really is what makes Diablo 2 what it is. Partly just knowing you can run with your homies if you want. And uh, just the social aspect of it, that was great. And folks say that that was lost in Diablo 3. So hopefully in Diablo 4, it's kind of brought back again. And I think part of it has to do with the trading. And uh, just how it has, it has a freaking chat room when you join the game. You know what I'm saying? So folks are talking about whatevs. And I mean, sometimes there's fucked up shit going on in there. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm sure you guys know. But yeah, nonetheless, I mean, it all adds to how this is the real fucking world, man. You know what I mean? It's like a real world chat room. I'm folks in there. Sometimes they talk about the game. Sometimes it's helpful. Just the other day, I said, hey, anyone know what uh, a jaw rune is in terms of rune value? And a couple people gave me a BS answer, but several said about 3.2, 3.5, you know, something like that. But there's his Baba, and he has a nice BOTD. Um, yeah, this is a... He uses the Angelics when doing maps. Whirlwind, then fight on corpse with the, um, yeah, a ton of gold with the twin Elibabas. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So he has um, Angelic Ring, which... For many builds, our endgame rings, and uh, he has the 10 MF roll on him. Corrupted Dwarf Star. Looks like he didn't get shit on the corruption. But yeah, Dwarf Star is great for Trav runs. And uh, that uh, partly came to my mind because I remember Baza was using it. Because those Hydras that the council members cast can be a real bitch. He has maxed out res. Over 3k life. There's his BOTD. 399. And I'm almost positive he rolled that shit on his own. Nice. These life res grand charms are very nice. My sort actually has one, or my Zon does. It's uh, 30 fire res and it has 12. Faster hit recovery. Pretty nice charm. Some nice faster hit recovery AR charms. Hot damn. Faster hit recovery with res. Those are very nice. I like having those on my sword because she needs them. I'm, I'm half damn tempted to steal that actually. Fuck, maybe I'll, maybe I'll take that and I'll put that on my sword. I don't give a, don't give a toad. Uh, just one little hand out, you know? So what? I mean, I did I did invest time in the video, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could have been busting my ass, and I think, I'll take that charm. The charm's hog. I don't give a fuck. If any of you dogs want to talk shit, just do in the comments below. But, like, I generally say, man, if you're going to be a fucking dick, you know, just give me a little tippy tippy if you're going to talk too much shit, because it's the least you could do. You know, it's good for your mentality. You know, it's not good to just be a fucking dick all day. So, little dono or whatever if you want to talk shit, all right? Hot deal! You got that torch? Let me know which of you dogs is uh, looking to get a torch. Nice Baba torch. Yeah, I'm going to give that charm to my Sork. I don't give a fuck. Where is it at? Ooh, look at that. Okay, so he uses Steel Run. Yeah, so I'm keeping mine with a Whirlwind Barbarian in Path of Diablo, at least, is increased attack speed on gear doesn't affect your Whirlwind. Uh, whatsoever so you can use whatever kind of gloves you want um, these steel runs are actually very optimal i think for this kind of build 
He goes, one could say, well, use, uh, use, use Drax. And those are nice with the Life Leech and the Open Wounds, but it's not going to be casting Life Tap in your Whirlwind. So, I mean, it's nice to have them on your character anyway. You could bash them a couple times. Use Bash or um, Concentrate and get the Life Tap on them and then start Whirlwinding them. So that's one way to get around that. But yeah, I think the Steel Winds would be a great choice for them. And laying of hands, of course, too. But it sucks you're not taking full advantage of the stats because you just can't. Ugh. Style points or kill him right there. Because you can't take advantage of the 20 IS in Whirlwind. But some folks do like to bash. Um, especially if you're fighting against uh, physical immune. Because bash in Path of Diablo has partly taken the place of Berserk from the past. A vamp case, his Merc gear. A Dory shell. I don't know what the mod is on this, if I got one. Uh, a Lawbringer. Toad Lawbringer. An F uh, Legend Sword, which is a great uh, base for Lawbringer for your Merc. I think uh, that it reaches their fastest attack speed for a uh, for a sword. Zahn and Druid left. So I'm going to make a new mule, and we'll check out his Zahn in just a minute. And his druid. So here's all the gear that his uh, barb had. All right. So if any, holy fucking shit! Which one of you toads are gonna get this? That's a very nice breath of the dying. Some folks say that the melee and physical characters got the shaft up the ass a little bit this current Path of Diablo season. Because the endgame maps, you know, they have the slow, the fucking annoying slow aura where if there's an enemy anywhere near you, your character is going to be slowed. So, of course, a melee character, you got to go get up in their face to fight them. So that's, uh, that's more of a detriment to melee characters. As opposed to a range, we can still just sit back and kill them, even if you're slowed. Or a sorceress, we can teleport. Or a druid, or a necromancer, we can teleport. So... Some folks say that the melee character has got the shaft up the ass. I don't know. And that might be true. So I'm looking to see, you know, how this adapts later on, you know, because I know a lot of folks been bitching about it. And in the Project Diablo 2 coming up, the new mod, I don't know how that's going to be, but uh, there might they, they might address that some. I have no idea. But I'm curious to see how uh, both of these communities, you know, their modders address this shit because really, yeah, it seems to me like the melee characters are a bit underpowered. 6k fury oh he didn't do the nightmare hell press 67 let's check out his gear real quick oh yeah he is he is the classic rib cracker and hot damn Look at the damage on that I didn't realize it did such high damage 94 FHR Crushing Blow, 65, and 15 Deadly Strike, 45 DR. Holy shit. A Jalal's main. A Shaft Stop with uh, three jewels in him. All right. So y'all can, uh, if anyone's interested in this shit, just remember to thank Baza. No skin off Ice Hog's back for any of this shit. And I took my, you know, I, I'm going to take that charm, all right? I'm into FS Shale, my rib cracker. But after I use GG Jewels on my helm armor... I realized I forgot a splash. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh damn, that's so fucked up. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he forgot to do the splash damage. And that shit's important. Oh nice, so we have some style points, FHR, uh, charm in here. Those Jalals are so damn nice. And he has FHR, uh, what does that usually have? I don't, I don't remember the FHR it has. Is that 30? Or does that have less than that? I am overburdened. Ton of skillers and shit. I can't carry 
I should have made a separate character just for that stuff. Just for the charms. So I'm going to go and uh, make another mule. Damn, I'm rich as fuck. Oh, there's a Geats. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't pick that up. I'll grab that with another mule. So he just finished dropping all his goodies on his droid. So his droid had a 15 DR string of ears. Has all this shit. Holy Thunder you can have on Switch. Very nice. Ooh, a 38 Reds. Um, Geats. That 30s Jalals, that's very nice. That shit's worth a high rune at least. I mean, shit, that might be... Uh, that's probably two high runes. As of this point in the ladder, anyway. Go Riders. Oh, all reds. Holy shit. Those are probably a high rune at least, running your dogs. Here's this nice charm with six and uh, MF and seven fire reds. Here's his, here's his shaft stop. A couple of these other goodies. So he just joined with his Zahn now. Corrupted, just CNC laying of hands. I'm not a uh, uh, clean T God. It's another Lawbringer. You can't you can't have enough Lawbringers. Lawbringers are so damn nice, and they're they're quite affordable. Such a nice freaking uh, sword, though. It'll save you a sock quest if you all wanna uh, take dibs on bosses. Inspect gear. Oh, okay. So okay, so there uh, there are clean. T-strokes. And she's level 87. Talmask. A very nice helm for, for many character builds. Also never knew which was best. So he ran this he ran this setup mostly. Yeah, those uh those Vidalis boots are toad. Oh, and his have oh they have fire res mod and piercing attack. Yeah, I, I went between those two as well. Um, I, I want to have that 100% peers. Oh, shit. 19, 19 light res. Those are high rune. I want that shit, to be honest with you guys. I might, I might just take that. I don't give a fuck. I might take those boots. Perfect T gots, 200. Nice. Looks like he was a pussy. He didn't want to slam it. <clears throat> Just making an observation. <laughs> you want them boots? Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that shit. I don't give a fuck if it's a handout. I mean, I have a couple Alders boots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have one with light res. And these are one off from perfect. The fire res, it ranges from like uh, 40 to 50. These are 49. The lightning res mod, I think that ranges from 10 to 20 and it's 19. Yeah, so pretty pretty interesting Zon there. She has a one socketed storm shield, three socketed skull desire, pretty nice. So I think the notable parts on her. High Lords is valuable as fuck no matter what. That's probably a Vex rune at least right there. This is about an S rune that helm if you don't count what's in it. I don't know what's in it. Oh, he has holy shit, he has enhanced damage slash IS jewels. About uh sixteen, seventeen enhanced damage on average per jewel. He had three. Okay, so we had F Titans. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys know what does more damage? F Titans or uh, Max Damage Mod Titans? Uh, that they now compete with in Path of Diablo. I don't really know which which are better. Uh, I do know it's it's nice to be, have the option to repair them. If you throw them so often, you can't do that with the F ones. He had Max Resin Hell. Damn. With Scalders. Would switch to bow for magic arrow. Oh, really? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I didn't really uh, consider trying that. I didn't think of that shit, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, just magic arrow? Because if you have over 100 decks, you're shooting three magic arrows. And I think it has shotgun effect. I don't know for sure. Oh, he does have an omen of scalders. Okay, so he sacrificed some Java skillers. Yeah, I know how that is because my John is uh, kind of in the same place. Because she doesn't have res stuff. She, she she wields Phoenix, Enigma, and Griffins, none of which have any res. So it's a real fucking bitch getting res on her. I, am I do have some Java charms on her, though. It's 
So I'm going to pick that stuff up. And here's a lot of the gear. Yeah, that bow. Because if you have over 100 base decks, you should be able to shoot three magic arrows. Oh, damn. The fuck? That ain't three, that's five, right? Holy shit. Huh, interesting. Maybe the bow itself, I assume, shoots an, an additional two. Oh, he has the moon arrows, that's right. That's what I didn't look at. Nice. I think there's actually a bow that casts more than one magic arrow as well. So you could cast, you could be cast like 10 of them. The bow might shoot five. I don't remember. So these moon arrows, they'll do it. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, know what I'm talking about. I think there's a bow where a magic arrow fires like four or five additional arrows. Oh yeah, he had that Barissa. Shell, shell, eth, eth, nef. Yeah, that's a, that's a good combination. The eth runes, uh, those factor in big time. Negative 50% target defense. So it's assuming your target has only half the defense that it actually has. So it hits shit like crazy. Uh, it's great for bosses. Look at that damage on there. And he upped that shit too. Upping that shit is something y'all might want to look into because I don't know, depending on your gear setup, you have to have a lot more strength if you up that shit, but depending on your gear setup, it could be worth it. Because if you don't, obviously, there's more points to put into decks. But from what I remember, I think that we gathered it was it was probably optimal to up it. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, so do I, man. I made a video with my job is on running the ice caverns she has all her godly gear on and she died felt like a little bitch so nice 14 all res charm when i trade for him i generally search uh, 14 and greater because sometimes you know you can get a good deal on something that's just one off from perfect deal nice poison res which shouldn't be underlooked poison res is uh is very desirable i think in Path of Diablo's current state. Uh, you have some enemies in the endgame maps doing some crazy poison damage. So those poison charms, I think, are, uh, are very desirable. So I, I try to stack those up a little bit. Faster run walk. So like I said, hit me up on Facebook, linked in the description below, or uh, hit me up on this video in the comment section below. I don't know when I'm gonna post it exactly. Well, like I said, it was made uh, the 18th of September of 2020. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if, you know, if I hear from you guys and uh, patrons get first dibs. So let me know in the comments or on Facebook or connect with me on Patreon. That has a pretty good uh, messaging system as well. Oh, he updated that to a Bal Balrog skin uh, in hopes, I'm sure, of getting four sockets. The bow requires 163 strength, so it was already just fine using those two together. 30 IES laying of hands. Oh. So 30 IES laying of hands. It can be such a bitch getting those when I was shopping anyway. I, it took me forever to get one for a Vex. Like everyone was wanting 1.5 high runes plus. It was crazy. I am overburdened. Experimental. He kept dying the Merc. Um, yeah, but those laying of hands that he has are very nice. So those have got to be like a high rune or so, or a vex rune if you want to trade it fast. You know, things like that. I, it was a bitch for me getting them. Uh, fortunately, I found a guy, you know, probably within like 40 minutes of searching, who was willing to uh, give his up for a vex rune. Oh yeah, the Merc has cleansing. What the hell? I what he wears. I'm gonna make one more meal. Hey, check this out. Uh, these might be valuable as fuck because Baza claims that uh, his arrows are bugged. Check them out. 
They're just called arrows when they are unique moon arrows. I didn't notice that. But these, these could be like 20 high runes right here, man. This is a collector's item. So if any of you dogs want to have some bugged arrows, they only are level, level three required. Is that bugged as well? I don't remember those uh, being uh, so low level. I thought they were like level 12. Interesting. So yeah, they might be valuable as fuck. So maybe we'll auction that shit off. Corrupted shafts up. Oh, and he, he upped it too, and he didn't get shit. Yeah, that plague sword is epic. Plague sword for lower res when you're throwing jobs. <clears throat> yeah, so with that plague sword on his merc, let's see what it's in. Um, it casts lower res when he gets hit. I think it's a 25% chance or a uh, or 20% chance. I can't remember which. And another thing that plague is, is known for, obviously, Each ear. Oh, so. <laughs> what? Shit, maybe he did drop it. Oh, is that what this was? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's right here. I thought that was another wall breaker. I just didn't look at it. Yeah, the cleansing aura, and I know he mentioned that. <clears throat> Go get a character kill me so you can keep my ears. All right, so we're going to go get a character and kill him. Holy fucking shit. This isn't a joke. He's retired, man. Hopefully just for this ladder. I mean, I know, like I said, the other can be a big advice. You know what I mean? It can, what begins as fun and entertaining and, you know, a place of going to for just peace and relaxation. It becomes a fucking addiction. So Boslin's making a good move here. You know, that's my take anyway. And to be honest with you guys, Fatboy has to take a break as well. And fortunately for me, I have videos just stacked up the ass. So I can take a break and y'all dogs won't even know it. My Baba ear can be the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to go get one of my characters. All right, so this is uh, kind of what ends Baza's current career, this ladder. You know, he's hopefully, I mean, he'll be seeking other things, and I'm sure he's going to get some shit done. He's going to have some time on his hands. But there goes <laughs> there goes that bitch, these little naked beaches. Take a little thumbnail of that. And his Barbarian, uh, which I recall probably being his most played character. So where's that? Did I get that here? Okay, 87. Yeah, I think his Barbarian is 93. And he used IK for a long time. And he gets crazy style points for that. I think IK is an awesome set. And I still intend, actually, to have an IK Barb. So I might be doing that. Oh, my Merc? <laughs> the Merc's what a dead air. So yeah, but I got videos up dead air. And fortunately, so... Yeah, I might need to take a little bit of a break, too, for a little while. But like I said, y'all ain't going to know. Because it's good to get off your fucking ass and work out a little bit. You know, go on a bike ride, especially when the weather is starting to get colder and people get less sun. You get really fucked up in the head if you just sit on your ass. Uh, so you got to force yourself to get there and do shit. So I might take a little bit of a break. But yeah, the truth is that uh, Project D2 comes out, I think, as of right now, in uh, potentially, I think, late October, but I don't know for sure. Mid to late October, but we'll see. I'll keep you all updated on this channel. And here is his Barbarian, the last and final one, about to get uh, his ass just swatted. His ass just swatted by my nerf. And I guess I'll go out here and I'll, I'll hostile and fuck it. He thick. <laughs> uh, I wonder if my Valk... Oh, I should have let my Valk poke his ass. I'll multi-shot him if I have to. There he goes. I'll, I'll keep the gold. 
So, thank you, Bazo, for your contributions in this video. Uh, you will be missed, sir, and thank you for your patronage. And yeah, if you guys want any of that gear, hit me up on Facebook, on Patreon, or on the comments of this video. So hopefully we'll be seeing Baza back in the not-too-distant future. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm going to get a screenshot here, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me as you have. Peace be with you guys. So yeah, he just uh, he just wished uh, us good luck. See us on uh, Project D two. Yeah, I'll get I'll I'll release it sooner. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, those slam videos were way the fuck behind. It did stimulate the comment section a little bit. I think some folks were talking shit about the uh, the slams in the valley that we were discussing. Which made them less epic that's true so wow <laughs> the fuck <clears throat> all right i'm gonna stop recording i'll talk to y'all soon peace be with you